Hey, what's going on there? My name is Michael with Wildlife X Team. I'm here at the yearly annual event for Wildlife X Team. I'm here with... This is Brad. Brad, and what's your last name? McKee. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be meeting with some of the people that work at Wildlife X Team, and we are going to be having them share their stories, some information for you guys, for you to enjoy. So, what do you do? Uh, we, we do a lot of everything. Uh, people call us, they got raccoons, they got animals, we'll come in, figure out what's going on, get them out of there, get them caught, get the hill, get all the holes sealed up, repair any damages. How do you remove them? Like, are they removed safely? Do you just go... We do, do everything you... humanely. Okay. Yeah, we do everything humanely. Uh, okay. Usually what we do. Yeah. So you're not going out and you're, you're not, like, shooting them and, like, torturing these animals or anything like that? No, like, we, we want to give them a way out that they can go out, live their lives, and then our customer's happy. They don't have a raccoon in their house anymore. Okay. Yeah, one of the biggest misconceptions people have of Wildlife X Team is they think we're going out and we're just, like, killing these animals or whatever, but we're, like, oh. trying to get them safely returned to their home. Right. Yeah, we, we just want them to... To, to go their way, live their life, and leave our customers alone is our goal. Yeah. So, tell everybody, what is the most dangerous wildlife story you've ever had? Like, think Probably. people... Yeah, what is it? Best one we've done is in, uh, it's in Oklahoma City. We caught a crocodile. Crocodile? I thought that was only in Florida. Yeah, I think it was a, a pest or something, pet that somebody let go. A but, pet crocodile. It was out in the pond, and <laughs> they didn't want it there no more, so we went and got it out. How big was this? Uh, it, was, it was about two and a half feet. Two and a half yeah. feet. Just hanging up. Yeah. Do elaborate. So you just found it at a pond. Did police call like... No, uh, it was at a mobile home park and we had some tenants call us, wanted out of there. So went out there is actually didn't know what to do but it went pretty smooth grabbed him up taped him up and got him out of there <laughs> were you worried of anything for me personally if a crocodile was there i would turn the other way and i'd run right so how did you handle this well luckily i was bigger than him so <laughs> <laughs> i do think you're bigger than two and a half feet yeah <laughs> <laughs> lucky it worked out Crocodile in Oklahoma City. Okay, this is a first. I've never heard anything as crazy as this. All right, what's your best success story? Like, unhappy client, gone, really happy. Uh, tell everyone, like, a big win that you've had. Uh, it's always a good win when you get somebody to, to send an unsolicited review. Always enjoy those. Uh, that's probably the best thing I got. Okay, what's the, like, coolest job you've ever been on? Like... The crocodile one is uh, pretty so cool. Go back to that. Yeah, everything goes back to that croc <laughs> crocodile in Oklahoma City. Man, I can't get over that. That's fun. Do you have any other yeah, stories well, you want to tell us? Snakes are always fun. Snakes, snakes and addicts go up there and shine your light. They'll usually come find you. You don't have to look for them too much. They'll, they'll seek you out. Okay. So those are always fun live action calls. Have you ever been bit before? I've been squirrel bit. Squirrel that's, bit. How did this happen? Got me. Uh, had a squirrel bouncing around off a of lady's curtains all over her living room. They closed off the doors, got it, got it contained, and then ended up just had to grab the thing. It didn't go as planned. Oh gosh, where did he get you? I uh, had welding gloves on. He found the seam on my welding glove and chewed right through it real quick. Chewed right through the glove. Right. I thought squirrels were nice, man. They look all cute. They're hanging around oh, parks and. <laughs> They're quick. Yeah. And apparently they bite too. They like to. All right. <laughs> Do you have any other stories you want to share? Uh, that's my good one. Okay. All right. We'll get someone else now. Uh, thanks, Michael. Yeah. Thanks for being with us. They're out there looking for a home, and they've found one, yours. They want that cozy place in your attic or under your foundation. Give them enough time, and you'll be paying big bucks to fix their damage. Wildlife X Team specializes in removal and prevention of wildlife infestation, responsibly and professionally. Wildlife X Team has earned the top-rated award from home advisors because they're experts at what they do. Just one call, and they're gone.
855-WILDLIFE or wildlifexteam.com.